hello students in continuation of the chapter density and mass mass weight and density relative density i am continuing in this video the one of the important principle of finding specific gravity or relative density of solid and liquid that is archimedes principle archimedes principle is a basic principle you can experience it when we are trying to swim on water water will lift our body and make us feel lightly in weight so that's what archimedes principle is explained about so first of all let's take the definition of archimedes principle archimedes principle states that the body immersed fully or partially in a fluid a body or substance immersed fully or partially in a fluid fluid means it may be liquid or it may be gas experience an upward force an upward force upward force means the force which lift the body upward equal to the weight of fluid displaced by the body you observe in the diagram i have given here that is the diagram finds you how the archimedes principle works see here a body that is a stone tied to a rope is weighed is done weighted with a spring balance that is giving the weight of wo1 and when it is immersed in liquid or fluid or water you may take whatever it is is weighing wo2 that means when the body is immersed in liquid it displaces water into another small jar the displaced water weighs that means weight of displaced water is equal to the upward thrust upward thrust or upward force experienced by the body in the liquid that means the weight of liquid displaced by this body the weight of liquid what is filled here the weight of liquid it is weighed weight of liquid displaced by this body on immersing into a, a liquid is equal to the upward thrust is equal to the upward thrust or force experienced by this body and the volume of this water displayed volume the volume of water displayed is equal to volume of the body the volume of water displayed is equal to volume of the body immersed in the liquid that's what the statement of archimedes principle let's take the statement again archimedes principle states that the body immersed fully completely or partially a part wise in a liquid experience upward force experience upward force equal to the weight of fluid weight that is this is the fluid displaced fluid displaced by the body the weight of fluid displaced is equal to upward thrust one point the other point is the volume of fluid displaced is equal to volume of the body immersed that's what i have given in blue shade that is volume of fluid displaced is equal to volume of immersed object or body second point weight of displaced fluid is equal to upward force on jet so these are the two important points we have to be noted in archimedes principle one is weight of a displaced liquid is equal to upward thrust volume of displaced liquid is equal to volume of the object by using this principle we can find the specific gravity in other words relative density also we can call it as specific gravity or relative density rd or sg i will refer now on words specific gravity of solid or specific gravity of liquid 
can be found out using this Archimedes principle. The so first of all, we are taking specific gravity of solid by Archimedes principle. So specific gravity of solid by Archimedes principle. Specific gravity of solid is equal to weight of solid in air divided by loss of weight in fluid. Weight of solid in air W1. That means we are weighing the solid in the air. That is without immersing in the liquid. We are weighing the solid in air. That is taken as W1. And W2, the weight of solid in liquid. Weight of solid in liquid. And that is W2. The specific gravity of solid is given by the formula W1. That is 8 weight of solid in air divided by loss of weight. Loss of weight is calculated by W1 minus W2. Hence, RD or specific gravity of a solid is equal to W1 divided by W1 minus W2. W1 is the weight of solid in air. W2 is the weight of solid in liquid. So, let us take the second one that is specific gravity of liquid. So, in the second case of Archimedes principle, I am taking to find the formula of specific gravity of liquid. Specific gravity of liquid is given by the formula loss of weight in liquid divided by loss of weight in water. To find the loss of weight, we have to find the original weight of the object in air that is W1. So, here in the first diagram, it is shown W1 is equal to weight in air. You may observe in the diagram, the solid is not touching the liquid. It is in the air. W1 is the weight of solid in air. You may take W2, weight in water. So, this container is filled with water. This is water. Second container is filled with water. And the body is immersed in the water and weight is measured using a spring balance. That is W2 equals weight in water. Next W3. W3 is the weight in liquid of which we have to find the RD. Weight of liquid. This is the liquid whose RD is to be find out or specific gravity SG is to be find out. So first weight in air. Second W2 weight in water, third weight in liquid whose specific gravity is to be find out. So use the formula specific gravity of liquid is equal to that is this is the liquid we have to find the specific gravity of this liquid. Specific gravity of liquid equals loss of weight in liquid divided by loss of weight in water. So loss of weight in liquid we can find by using W1 minus W3. W1 is the weight of solid in air. W3 is the weight of solid in liquid. This, this liquid. Divided by W1 minus W2. W1 same again. Weight of solid in air minus weight of solid in water. By finding W1, W2 and W3, we can find the specific gravity of liquid by Archimedes principle. So, this is about Archimedes principle and finding RD or specific gravity of solid and liquid using Archimedes principle. In the next video, I am going to give you how to solve the problems of finding the RD of liquid and solid by using Archimedes principle. So, thank you. Thanks for watching.